Namaste. Today we are going to see uh, P2P lending. What is P2P lending? Why should one invest through a lending platform? Uh, what are the advantages for borrowers? What are the advantages for you know lenders? What are the disadvantages? All those things in a very short capsule. Select this P2P means person to person lending. So this P2P is a platform, online platform through which you know a borrower gets money for his needs and at the same time a lender parks his money. So on one side there are hundreds of borrowers, on the other side there are hundreds of lenders. Now the P2P platform's job is to match these people according to the risk profile and then you know enable the transaction. That's what exactly P2P does. Earlier, you know, a few years back, until a few years back, these were unregulated uh, entities. They were thriving and people lost money, gained money, whichever way you put it. So, this were, but however, in the last few years, RBI has enacted laws and brought all the P2P platforms under its purview. So, without getting a license from RBI, today uh, any P2P company cannot run. So it is compulsory. The minimum net worth requirement as prescribed by RBI is 2 crores. I mean in these platforms no secured lendings are allowed and the platform cannot fund on its own that is compulsory. You know, it should serve only as a platform and it cannot cross sell any products except for the loan insurance product. So these are certain conditions on the P2P platform itself laid down by RBI, Reserve Bank of India. What does these companies do? So they perform the KYC of both borrowers as well as lenders. They do the you know your customer you know uh, formalities. They do the due diligence of the borrowers as well as the lenders. You know particularly more true for the borrowers. Now, are they residing in the same place? Whatever the information they have given is correct or not? Verifying the salary details, verifying their bank accounts, all those things, all those due diligence are done by the P2P platforms. And then they supply credit information regarding the borrowers to the credit information bureaus. Uh, they may they uh, they execute the loan documentation between the borrower and the lender. So um, they they they, uh, they do that in a major way. Plus they take care of the disbursement of loans, collection of loans, EMI EMI collection, and then in case NPA non-performing assets NPA comes, then they help in recovery. They don't guarantee. And what one should understand here is the P2P platforms do not guarantee any return. It is between the lender and the borrower these platforms enable the transaction and they help in many ways as i you know told you kyc credit bureau information you know loan documentation recovery and all those things but they cannot guarantee there are also certain other guidelines as laid out by rbi a maximum 50 lakhs can only be you know lent by a lender single lender across all p2p platforms in india similarly and a, a lender who wants to invest you know more than 10 lakhs in p2p platform i mean in the sense uh, want to lend more than 10 lakhs through these platforms they have to get an auditor certificate saying that their net worth is more than 50 lakhs <clears throat> and then similarly borrowers there are certain rules a single borrower cannot borrow more than 10 lakhs across all P2P platforms in India. Uh, single lender to the same borrower across all P2Ps shall not exceed 50,000 rupees. Single lender to the same borrower cannot lend more than 50,000 rupees. So max cap per person uh, per borrower is 50,000 by a single lender. And the maximum maturity of these loans is 36 months. Uh, escrow account mechanism must be there you know, whenever the, uh, the transaction happens, whenever the lender parks his money or whenever the P2P platform collects the money, all these things should go to the escrow account. 
and all the transactions uh, EMI collection or non-collection will be reported to the credit bureau by the P2P platform. What are the advantages? You know, generally, major advantage is higher interest rate. Say in a bank today, in a, any large bank, it's five and a half percent is the interest rate per annum. A small finance bank can give you six and a half, seven percent. But here, uh, lenders can get around nine, ten percent for a conservative portfolio, and much higher for a medium to high risk uh, portfolio. And many people today want to have a second income, so this will be a good option for them to get some secondary income and it offers portfolio diversification you know as we invest in say like gold mutual funds fixed deposits bonds real estate many asset classes we invest overseas funds so similarly this will also be a diversification and today many of these p2p platforms have come out clean they have become more you know um, conservative in their approach it is easy money of giving loan to you know easy, uh, borrowers is gone because they have burned their fingers nowadays many of them are uh, running their operations with strict discipline what are the disadvantages this is primarily an unsecured loan so once you know the money you don't own say someone defaults you may not be able to ha recover the money uh, portfolio sell out may be difficult all of a sudden if you want money particularly for below 5 lakh uh, customers for above 5 lakh customers the portfolio sell out can be done in a month or two but however for smaller below 5 lakh uh, investments it will take its own time so probably the worst case scenario to recover the full money will be 36 months because gradually every month you will be getting through the EMIs that is the there is a, a disadvantage if at all you want you know if at all you want me to say that then NPS of course you know non-performing assets will be there but however having said that even you know you will be lending a 5 lakh rupee portfolio to 100 uh, borrowers so there may if you are doing a conservative portfolio maybe one or two borrowers may not give the money however that will get recovered in your EMI so ultimately you won't lose your principal in the sense okay uh, now how Prakla can help you in this process now we have tied up with a P2P lending platform called Monaxo for which uh, we are a you know uh, a facilitator so we can identify uh, depending on your risk profile whether you want to be on the higher risk side lower risk side or a moderate risk side accordingly we can choose the various types of portfolios and you know guide you through the registration process and manage it on behalf of you over a period of time and you know give you suggestions also so if you are interested in investing in p2p lending platforms i mean in uh, lending through p2p platforms please get in touch with us our numbers are given at the end of this video thank you very much see you in another video